so from this lecture onwards now we'll be building a project which will be a about us page for that application so earlier we were building the header of an educational institute which is the company name of the eduhub so in this time we'll be building an about us page with that so we'll be using tailwind css and then we'll be using basic utility classes the hover states and other states with that so let's see what will be the demo of that application so here we'll be building the project like this so we'll be having the eduhub we have the header of this application and then we'll be having the states like the activities we have the institute name like the eduhub institute of technology and then we have some static text over there and then we'll be having the images like this so we'll be having some images we'll be having a lot of styles over there we'll be having hover states and we'll be having other states like this and this will be a fully responsive project so we'll build the application in the desktop first and then we'll make it responsive inside the mobile devices as well so let's start on this project so here we have this header component and now what can we do inside that so here we have the links of the services blocks and the students so instead of the students now we can change it to the about so here we have the anchor tag but for using the links with the client side routing inside the next.js so we use the link component provided by the next.js for navigating through the different links so for that we can remove this link or we can just use the link instead of this a tag so we can use the link from the next.js that would be available from the next.js so here it will be imported from the next link and here we have the class name we have all of the things like this and then we have the link inside that and then we can use the ref tag as well to move to the different pages so we can move on we can just provide the link like this or we can have the link dot to lowercase so we can have the link dot to lowercase like this so if we save if we move on to the application so you can see everything would be same and now we can move on we can just provide these pages as well like the services the block and the about so let's move on inside the app directory let's create a new folder that can be the services so we can have the services and inside the services now we'll be creating a page that should be the page.tsx so that should be the page component and then we can define the function we can have the services like this so services would be a functional component we'll be exporting this as well so we can have the export default like this and then we can just return the jsx inside that with the div of the services like this so we can have the services we can move on we can define the about and inside the about we'll be having the page.tsx so with this syntax so it will create the folder of the about and inside that it will create the page.tsx with that so we can hit enter so now we have the about page.tsx so we can have the export default function we can have the about and inside the about now we have the about page so we can move on we can dip, like we can have the block slash we can have the page.tsx once again and then we can just paste this function over there so we can have the block like this so now we have all of the pages so if we just save if we just refresh this application if we move on to the services click on services so now you can see now we are into slash services so here now we enter the services if we click on the block now you can see now we'll be inside the block page so now we enter the block if we click on the about so now we'll be inside the about but here we have the text of the services because inside every component we have the services so that should be the block here that should be the about here like this so now we'll be having all of the things inside that so inside the about we have the about block we have the block we have the services inside the services so everything should work perfectly fine now so here we are into the about so now we need to design this page so we can close other files and now instead of this div now what can we do so we can use this section so we can have the section over there like this so that should be the section tag and now we can just make some more space and now inside the section now what can we do so we can just provide the class name and inside that we'll be providing the width so the width would be of the full screen so we can give the width screen to apply the width of the 100 percent of the screen we have the 100 viewport height and now we can just define the margin from the top as well so that should be somewhere around 12 into 4 48 pixels for the margin from the top and now we can move on we can just provide a div again that can be a container for all of the things so we can have the class name that should contain the class of the flex we can give the flex property as one like this so the flex would be fully covered from this div and now what can we do so we can give the justify content that should be from the start and i think we need to define the flex as the column as well so we'll be having the items inside the column basis and then we can provide the gap as well like the six so we can have the six of the gap like this and now we can move on and i think we can also provide the items of the center to align the items inside the center so we can have the items stash center and now we can move on we can just provide some of the more basic stylings inside that so now we'll be having the h5 so for the h5 we can have the class name that should be so we can have the font we can have the bold so we'll be using the bolder font we can just increase the size as well so we can have the text dash we can have the 4xl 
for increasing the size so we can have the for excel and then we can define the activities like this so we can have the activities so if we save if we move on to the application so here we have if we move on to the about page so here we have the activities like this and it is looking fine so here we have the activities and then you can see it is looking fine and now we can move on again and here we can just define the paragraph as well after this so we can have the paragraph we can have the styles as well we can have the class name of something around we can give the text that should be to excel inside the text and then we can provide the uppercase for this and that would be the company name like the institute name and then we can just put the font weight so we can have the font like we can have the lighter font with that so we can have the font like like this and then we can put the company name like we can put the edu hub and now after that now we can just move on we can just provide some of the text after this so here we have the institute name then we can have some text to represent that institute so we can have the paragraph tag once again we can give the class name again and the class name this time can be we can give the width of this like that should be 3 by 5 so the 3 by 5 width if we apply the 3 by 5 that should be of the 60 percent and now we can move on again and we can just provide i think after this we can have the text of the center so that should be aligned inside the center and then we can move on we can just provide the text property as the two excel once again so we have the text to excel like this once again so that will be the text so as of now we can just provide the lorem is from text so if you are using the visual studio code like this i'm using same so we can just put the lorem like this so we can have the lorem and then we can just use the amount of words that we need to require inside the lorem so if we need around 15 words then we can use the 15 and then we can hit enter so it will just create the dummy text of 15 words so now we have the 15 words dummy text inside that and now we can move on if we save so now we have the lorem is pump and then you can say it is looking fine and now we can just put the activity section as well so for that now we'll be using the div once again so inside that we can have the class name we can have the flex inside that so here we'll be using the flex box once again and then what we'll be doing so we'll be using the flex as the row inside that so we'll be having by default of the row so we won't need to justify that so we have the flex row we can just put the justify that should be the center we can also have the items inside that that should be the center and then we can just put the gap between the items so that should be somewhere around i think five or six would be enough so we can give the six and now inside that now we can define three images so we can have the images so for the images you can get the url of that images as well so you can move on into the pixabay and then you can just search for the college inside that because we are also creating the website for educational institute so we can just copy a couple of images like this image is looking good so we can click on that image and then we can just click on copy image address but if you want to download that image then you can use the download option as well so now you can move on you can just copy the address of that image like this so you can paste that over here like that would be the first image and then we can use this image as well and it is looking good so we can just move on to this image we can just copy the image address then we can move on then we can define another image tag like this so we can have the image and inside the source we can have this image address so we can just copy that so here we'll be defining the url like this and now we can move on we can select the third image as well so we can move on and we can use this image over there so we can use this image and then we can just copy the image address and then we can just define another image tag so we can have the image in this source we can define this source and then we can define the alt as well so inside the alt we can use the img1 inside this alt we can use the img2 and inside this alt tag we can use the img3 like this so if we save and if we move on to the application so what we will see so here we have three images inside that so here you can say if i just now move on to 25 percent or 50 percent so here we have three images and now we can just align the sizes of these images so we can again move on to the 100 percent we can align the sizes so here what we can do so inside the image we can again use the class name so we can select all of these images we can press ctrl and f2 and then we can move on we can put the class name like this so we can have the class name then it would be applied to all of these images so inside the class name what we can do so we can again use the width that should be the one by four i think or we can use the one by three for the width and then we can move on and then we can just provide uh, the shadow so that should be the shadow that should be ld and if you want to provide some hover states as well so we can use the hover and inside the hover what we can do so we can use the shadow as it to excel so if we save if we move on to the application so here you can see now we have the shadows inside that so here you can see but i think the images are too big for that so we can use the one by four inside that so we can move on we can use the one by four for this so we can use the one by four so if we save if we move on to the application so here you can see now the images are looking good so we have first image we have second image and then you can see we have third image so you can see in between very less amount of time we have defined the about us page as well of any educational institute 
first we have here the title then we have here the institute name we have some text over there and then we have some images over there and now we can move on and we can just define the button as well after that so we can have the button we can define the class name like this and inside the class name you can define any class name like you can have the border that should be i think we can give the color like that should be something around red or 500 and then we can move on we can just provide the border width as well so we can have the border dash two pixels like this so we can have two for the two pixels of the border we can use the padding as well so that should be p2 we can use the rounded as well if you want to be if you want to button to be rounded you can use the rounded as md and then we can just select some text like we can have the view more like this so we can have the view more if we save if we move on to the application so i think we have the button here but we need the button after this div so we can have this button after this div so here you can see now this button is there and it is looking perfectly good so now you can see now we have defined the page of the about us and now we have built this about us page and now inside the next lecture what we will see is we will be just customizing the styles of the tailwind so here you can see now we have the font family like this activities but if you will just move on into this so there is no option to provide a different font if you will just move on to the paragraph so you can say you can have the font so you do not have any option of providing the different fonts so we'll see that how we can just provide the different font and how we can customize the css of the tailwind so let's wrap up this lecture